Hi friends, it's Gwen. Today I want to do a review of I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. If you do not know about the book, you should because it is amazing. It is told from alternating perspectives of fraternal twins, Noah and Jude, as they deal with a tragic accident that has happened to their family. Noah's perspective is around 13, 14 years old that he's telling his perspective from, and Jude's is more later on around 16 that she's telling her perspective of. Um, they're both artistic twins and they have a very interesting family dynamic. All of the characters, you really get to know them and love them and want to know more and more and more. Um, it's a very fast paced read. At first I didn't think it was going to be because some of the, the writing style, um, I was having a hard time getting into it, but at first 30 pages or so I really just dove right into the story and couldn't stop flipping pages and it just went really quickly from there. Um, Noah is just really close with his sister and they have a really good friendship. You know, they have the twin telepathy thing and um, they have these, it's kind of like a quirky little family. Um, they're both artistic. Their mother is also this enigma. You know, she has this great personality and she's a force to be reckoned with. And she introduces the idea of a of them both applying to a liberal arts kind of high school for art and then she says what we're going to do is we're going to practice we're going to go to all of these museums you can practice sketching and drawing and so forth um, so that's what they do they start doing that and um, they create these wonderful pieces of art. Um, Noah is a very good um, drawer, painter, and Jude is more of a sculptor, um, 3D artist. And something tragic happens, but you're really not sure exactly what it is towards maybe the second half um, to maybe towards the last quarter of the book. Um, you really don't find out what it is, but you know something tragic happened and you're kind of just living the story of you know something happened, you're not sure what it is, but you're seeing how these characters are dealing with this accident. And every character that is introduced is um, you fall in love with and you want to know more about and you go through all of the emotions with this book um, just it's there's a tragedy so of course you're really sad and um, some of the things that happen relationship wise in this book you're very sad about but there's also very you know um, happy moments and funny moments and intriguing moments um, it's very well written I liked the alternating perspectives even though it was alternating perspectives I didn't feel like it was being told from two different points of view although obviously it was I don't even know if that makes sense the imagery that Nelson creates you just really feel like you're there some of it is a little too far over the edge sometimes at least for my preference but she just does a great job of painting a beautiful picture so you know exactly the way that the characters feel like I said, I can't give this book enough praise. It was absolutely amazing. This was my first um, book that I chose to do the book cover art nail tutorial. Um, I'll link that down in the description box. I gave this book five stars because across the board it was absolutely lovely. It's very heartwarming and touching and it's quite unexpected, I think, the things that happen. But this is very unlike normal YA in my opinion. I feel like it just you really don't get that and they live happily ever after you don't get that you know it doesn't get wrapped up like that but the ending is wonderful and beautiful and if you like um, authors such as Rainbow Rowe or John Green I really think you should pick up this Janie Nelson book when I I wasn't gonna pick it up I saw it in the store several times and I passed it over for other books and well, this was like last year in 2014, like towards the end of the year after it came out. I kept seeing it, and yes, it was a beautiful cover, and I was trying to not buy books, obviously, based off of just the cover, um, and I read the inside flap, and I was hearing a few things like, oh, it's such a good book, but after everybody started doing their yearly wrap-ups, like their best books of 2014, 
every person that read this book, it was at least in their top five. Lots of times it was in the top three and lots of times it was number one or number two. So with that many people saying it was that amazing of a book, I decided to go ahead and pick it up because I wanted to see what all the buzz was about and they were absolutely right. It's beautifully written. It's an amazing story and I definitely recommend it to all of my viewers. Um, but that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this review. I've tried to film it once before, so hearing it again trying to give it a go. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Hey, did you hit the subscribe button? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button! Like this video!